Do you hate when a guy tries to talk to you in the gym? Um, honestly, it just really depends because for me, like, at least you were bold enough to try to, like, talk to me. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Are you guys trying to grow your glutes and your hamstring? Today, I'm gonna to give you guys tips and tricks for what I do to really help develop that lower body, along with insight on how to get your gym crushed. Stay tuned, we're gonna get it, we live. Today. Listen, so we're developing the glutes and the hamstrings, and obviously, I feel like the best way to do it is to get a partner with me. So today, I got my girl, Ash, with me. Ash, introduce yourself. What's good, y'all? My name is Ashley Tracy. I'm from South Carolina. Listen, we got our girl Ashley here. It's live. She went to the best school ever. You already know, my alma mater, H.U. Howard. Listen, <laughs> listen, she does fitness. She does dentistry. We're going to get into it. Let's get it going. Listen, before we get into the workout, I'm going to ask Ash some questions just to get insight on what goes on in the gym and what she thinks. So my first question for her is, does she prefer the dad bod or the fit bod? I like a good in-between. You know, like, I like them thick, but, like, muscular but it's okay if you got like a little stomach <laughs> okay so he can have a little bit he can have a little punch to him that's okay 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 let's get into the workout hey so on the first superset we're gonna do high barbell squats along with monster walks so let's get it hey with the squats we want to make sure we're keeping our feet nice and narrow and we don't want to go too low we want to really want to focus on that glute activation there you go and not going too low, really focusing on the glutes and the hamstrings, and really driving through those heels. All right, listen, the next thing we have after the high barbell squat are our monster walks. So again, we wanna make sure we're nice and high, and we wanna make sure we're pushing out through those heels. Let's get it. We wanna, we wanna hit about 20 steps. Keep your feet wide the entire time. So you're inching over, keep tensing our heels the whole time, really working that IT band. About 20 steps, good work and relax. All right, guys, we just finished one superset. I'm already getting tired. I'm breaking a sweat, as you can see. Ash, how you feeling? It's rough out here. <laughs> it's hard out here in these streets. So um, we gotta stay at it, though. You know, we're both former athletes. We gotta get to it. So my second question for Ash is, do you hate when a guy tries to talk to you in the gym? Um, honestly, it just really depends because for me, like, at least you were bold enough to try to, like, talk to me, but I'll respectfully decline the offer. Okay. Okay, so you do understand, like, how hard it is or intimidating it is for a guy to approach you in the gym at times. Oh, no, for sure. Okay, because I, I feel like nowadays some girls don't really resonate with that. They don't really understand that it can be challenging for a guy to approach. They think every guy is as confident as myself, and, and that's not the case. You know, it's, it can be difficult at times. But listen, we're going to get into our next rotation, and that's going to be sumo deadlifts. Let's get it. When we're doing our sumo deadlifts here, we want to make sure we're pushing through our heels. We want one hand to be over, one hand to be under, and we're keeping a good arch in our back, and we're, that's it. This is really gonna help build up those glutes, those hamstrings, that lower body. And men, this is for you too. Like, this is not just for women. Men, you need, we need to lift legs. We are not lifting legs nowadays. We gotta keep our legs in tune and keep striving. Let's get it. Next up, we have our barbell good mornings. Good mornings on the Smith machine. So listen guys, you don't have to do free weight. You could do it, you could do it on the Smith machine as well. So there's always different variables, whatever's more comfortable for you, especially with this movement. This is a new movement. A lot of you guys aren't familiar with it. You haven't done it. So the last thing I want is for you guys to do barbell free weight and then you mess your back up. So really pay attention to what you're doing. And if you have to start on the Smith machine, that's fine. Make sure as you're doing the movement, you're pushing through your hips. Okay, don't just bend over and round your back. You still wanna keep an arch in your back and push through your hips. So this is gonna really help focus on those hamstrings. You should feel an immediate stretch as soon as you start doing all your hamstrings. Let's get into it. For more of a stretch on your hamstrings, you can lift your toes off the ground if you want more of a stretch on your hamstrings. Look at her little nice little socks. 
Look at the little socks on her feet right there. Okay. She says she was a power, what is it, powder puff quarterback? So I guess that's what it is. Good set, good set. You can rap. Good, good, good. There you go. Good work, good work, good work. All right, man, you gotta see the rotation. You gotta see the work. That's the second superset. We have one more superset. Our third question is, Ash, do you think all guys in the gym can be thirsty at times? Would you say like the energy in the gym is thirsty or do you feel like everyone's focused or like what's the atmosphere like when you go into gyms? I feel like when I go to the gym, the atmosphere is everyone's pretty focused. I mean, if you go to the gym thirsty, you don't need to be there. Go drink some water. So can you, <laughs> she said go drink some water. That's crazy, but uh. I was laughing when she said. <laughs> do you feel like when you're in the gym and like let's say you're working upper body and there's a guy in there, do you feel like he tries to position himself near you? Where it's like you're doing upper body, so now he's doing upper body, or you start doing legs, so he starts doing legs. Have you ever noticed anything like that? Um, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't really noticed anything like that just because I'm focused in my workout. Like sometimes I'll be working out with some friends and like they'll notice that someone is, but like I just this is get my job done. Okay. The vibe I'm kind of getting from you is you don't feel like as if the gym is the place to really meet someone or approach someone. Like, do you think you could meet someone at the gym or do you feel like the gym is really just to focus and get that working? I mean, the gym could be a place like where you do meet somebody, but like your main focus should be on you. Like, my focus is on me, myself, and I. I'm not worried about nobody else in there except for myself and if I'm there training somebody. So can you tell when a guy isn't taking fitness serious in the gym? Um, no, not really, because I'm just not looking at other people like that. So. Respect. So you, that's it. You guys had the answers right there. She's in the gym. She's working. She's focused. So a lot of you guys are going to the gym on the phone, lollygagging, trying to find these girls' Instagram handles. So make sure you go in the gym and really in there for the right reasons to develop your body and keep working on yourself. Let's get to the last super set. When you're doing your kettlebell swings, you want to make sure you're keeping the kettlebell tight to your body and you're really coming through, triple extension, bringing, pulling through with the hips. That's it right there. And it's a violent hip movement at the top. There we go. Good. Glute bridges, everyone knows it. But I try to give you guys different exercises, different things that you can do, you know, to hit your hamstrings and your glutes in different areas. All right, you guys saw the work, you guys heard her answers. So I hope that was very insightful for how to build your lower body, men and women. Make sure you subscribe to the page. And listen, if you guys are confused and you need help, don't forget to email me the word ebook at my email address. And my email address will be below, below in the description. Listen, you guys will get a three month plan for training, working out, nutritional advice. So make sure again, you email me the word ebook. And you know, that's how we're gonna get right. You guys see the results, you guys see the gains. We're gonna keep striving. Thanks, Ash, so much for coming out. Thank you for having me. Listen, man, it's a good one, man. I want everybody to say, Conte Performance, we out.